Brenian, tied up to one of the most beautiful islands in the world, Scorpios, the Scorpion, owned by one of the richest men in the world, who's marrying perhaps the best known woman in the world. The settings are missing. The leading actor, Aristotle Onassis, and his 39-year-old bride-to-be, Mrs. Jacqueline Kennedy. Newsmen are the cynics. Why, they ask, did Mrs. Kennedy make the bombshell announcement through her press secretary, then with Onassis, put such a news blackout on the scene here? Inevitably, the world press puts the yacht under siege, a stakeout. Onassis' men use every pressure, including man-made waves, but it's a siege. A nuts officer, a very expressive shrug of Greek shoulders. It's not up to me. Waiting newsmen send over a note suggesting that a brief appearance by the pair or a news conference for just five minutes would do the trick. Then everyone would retire and leave them alone. But no reply. Suddenly, action. A Greek photographer spots young John Kennedy in a go-kart. And it's go, go, go. The photographer jumps ashore, is jumped by Onassis men. The whole press corps invades the private island for a beachhead, and the resultant scene is chaos. For hours, a night photographers, with her were Carolyn and John, and her sisters-in-law, Mrs. Stephen Smith and Mrs. Patricia Lawford. Later, in a statement issued through the Greek government, she expressed her understanding of the problems of the press and asked for their understanding. In her words, even though people may be well known, they still hold in their hearts the emotions of a simple person for the moments that are the most important we know on earth, birth, marriage and death. And Mrs. Kennedy added, we wish our wedding to be a private moment. Indeed, it has been kept private, but some reporters and photographers were permitted to go to the island. We expect